Hello all, I am Jesseline from the Faculty of Hotel Management from SGT University, Gurugram. I will be teaching French today. Bonjour étudiants, that is hello students. Today first topic I will take is nouns in French. Nouns we have in like in English we have the, the same way in French we have the but we have masculine, feminine and plural. There are three types, le that is the which is masculine singular, la is for feminine singular and le for all the plurals. For instance, livre, livre is a book in French, livre is masculine. So, in English if we say the book, in French we will say the same the book, but since livre is masculine, it will be le livre. Next example I would like to take is about a girl. In English we say the girl, but in French since girl is feminine, it will be la fille. Then for plural it is again le. Like if we want to say the boys, it will be les garçons. Now, I would like to discuss the articles definite in French. The article definite in French are le before masculine, la before feminine and le before plural. L apostrophe is before a vowel. The articles indefinite will be a that is English if we say an, a an in English is indefinite articles a, un and de in French. A will be before masculine singular, un before feminine singular and de before all plurals. For example, if I want to say a boy, since it is masculine, it will be a garçon. If we want to say a girl, it will be un feel because feel is feminine, girl is feminine in French. Then de before all plurals, like if we want to say some birds, it will be de vozo. The next topic I would like to take is the demonstrative adjectives. Adjectives in French again go according to the feminine masculine that is according to the gender. For instance, we have adjectives sir before masculine singular, set before feminine singular, say before all plurals and cet before a word starting with a vowel. For instance, we want to say this book. So, it will be ce livre, ce because livre is masculine. If we want to say table, table is feminine in French. So, it will be set table which means this table. Say is plural. So, if we want to say these tables, it will be say table and since I said CET before all vowels, if it is vozo which means bird in French, it will be set vozo. It will be set set because vozo o is a vowel, so it will be set vozo. Now I would like to take the topic how to introduce yourself in French. Say if you want to say my name is Jocelyne, we will say je m'appelle Jocelyne. Then the next sentence if you would like to say I am 20 years old, it will be j'ai 20 ans, that is I am 20 years old. Je suis étudiant is I am a student. Then j'habite à Gurugram, that is I live in Gurugram. These are the four main sentences one needs to introduce oneself. Then we can add some more points like I have four members in my family. So, it will be like j'ai quatre membres dans ma famille that is four members in my family. 
in my free time i listen to music it will be pendant ma temps libre j'écoute la musique then the next topic i would like to say is about subject pronouns what are pronouns basically in english we have i you he she same way in french we have je je is for i tu is for you il is for he l is for she nu is for we vu plural for you il plural for they and l plural for they feminine il will be il will be for masculine and l will be for feminine now the next topic i would like to cover is about verbs there are three types of verbs in french we have three groups the first group says er verbs the second group has re verbs and the third group has the ir verbs in the er group of verbs we have parler parler means to speak so we will conjugate with the subject pronouns like je parle tu parles il elle parle nous parlons vous parlez il elle parle this is how we conjugate we cut the stem parler is a full verb which means to speak we cut the stem the er and put the endings e es e ons ez ent now you would like to know where we would put e es e c with j we put e with tu it will be es with il and l again it will be e with nous it will be ons with vous it will be ez and with il and l plural it will be ent but ent will not be heard it will be again i would repeat it's je parle tu parles il elle parle nous parlons vous parlez again for plural il elle parle ent is silent so we would not use ent parle we will only say il elle parle so this was the er verb that is the first group of verbs in french the second group is ir that is ir group of verbs for instance i would take an example of the verb finir finir is to finish we would conjugate like we will remove the tail ir and conjugate like je fini tu fini il elle fini nous finissons vous finissez il elle finis the ir of finir is cut and we put the endings is is for tu again il elle we put the endings i t for nu it will be s s o n s for vu it will be s s e z il elle plural will take e n t in the end which will not be pronounced we will say il finis and l finis e n t will be silent so this was the second group of verbs i was talking about now we would go to the third group of verbs which are re verbs for instance i'll take the verb vendre vendre is to sell so we would cut the tail and write je vend tu vend il elle vend nous vendons vous vendez il elle vend so we cut the re and write s before je it will be vend tu it will again be v e n d s for il elle vend remains same without the endings then with nu it will again add o n s vendon vu it will be v e n d e z vende il l vend e n t like the other verbs e n t will not be pronounced it will be vend 
The next is the irregular verbs in French. We have approximately 350, 350 irregular verbs. They do not follow any specific pattern and we have to memorize as it is. For instance, I would take the example of avoir. Avoir is to have. Avoir in French means to have. So, we conjugate like j'ai, tu a, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils and else ont. The meaning is j means I have, tu a means you have, il a means he has, elle a means she has, nous avons means we have, vous avez means you have, il els ont means they have. Like in English we say I am 20 years old. In French we use avoir to say I am. We do not say am, we say I have 20 years old. So, it will be like je, je vingt ans. The next verb I would like to take is être. Être is to be. This also comes under the category of irregular verbs. Etre is conjugated like je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Je suis means I am, tu es means you are, il est means he is, la means she is, nous sommes means we are, vous set means you are in plural, il sont means they are and el sont means they are. The next verb is aller verb. This comes under the category of irregular verbs. Aller means to go. So, we conjugate like Aller is absolutely conjugated in a different way. We do not use the aller initial also and even the endings are different. Like we say, je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont and else vont. I will tell you the meaning in English. It is, je vais means I go. Tuva means you go, Ilva means he goes, Elva means she goes. Nous allons, allons in nous and vous remains the same. Nous allons means we go, vous allez means you go in plural, Ils vont means they go and Els vont means they go again feminine. I meant nous and vous take the aller verbs like the regular verbs o, n, s and e, z. Else, aller is absolutely different for, from je till il. Only the nous and vous are regular. Some exceptions I would like to mention is about manger. Manger is an er verb that means the first group of verb, but only in nous it takes the e along like je mange, we cut the er and write je mange, tu mange, il elle mange. Nous will have an e, it will be nous mangeons. Rather than mangeons, we add an e, m a n g e o n s. Vous again will remain same like the er verb, it will be vous mangez, il elle mange. E n t as usual will be silent. Then we have some more verbs like jeter is to throw. Jeter, the spelling is j e t t e r. The verb is jeter, to throw, but while conjugate, conjugating, we say je jet, tu jet, il elle jet, nous jetons will have only one t, not the double t. Vous jete will have again single t, j e t e z. Il l will again have double t, j e t t -a e n t. Now, I would like to tell you about passé raison in French. What is passé raison? In English, it means 
recent past that means you just did it and that comes under recent past how it is conjugated we conjugate subject we take subject like example je then we conjugate the verb venir and then de plus the endings that means the full verb infinitive will come in the last for instance we want to conjugate vouloir is to wish it will be je viens de vouloir that is i just wished tu viens de vouloir means you just wished so it will be je that is the subject venir will be conjugated and de will be conjugated with venir plus we add the full verb for instance we take manger is to eat i just ate you would like to say i just ate so in french we would say je viens de manger that means i je is i viens is the venir conjugation with je we will add de with that and the full verb manger so it will be je viens de manger tu viens de manger il viens de manger elle viens de manger nous venons de manger vous venez de manger il vient de manger elle vient de manger meaning i just ate je viens de manger and if we would like to say we just ate it will be nous venons de manger then we have future proche that is immediate future in french so like you say i future proche in french that is immediate future how do we conjugate future proche we take the subject same as passé raison je tu il elle but we take aller and then we add the full verb like passé raison we take the full verb in the end for example you would like to say i am going to sing it will be je vais as aller is conjugated like je vais so it will be je vais chanter tu vas chanter that is you are going to sing il va chanter elle va chanter nous allons chanter vous allez chanter il va chanter elle va chanter means i am going to sing we take as a subject is je aller will be conjugated similarly like we conjugate aller je vais tu vas il va elle va and the full verb the full verb will be done in the end so it will be je vais chanter i am going to sing if we want to say we are going to sing it will be nous allons chanter possessive adjectives i would like to tell you we have again possessive adjectives will go according to the gender like ma ta sa these are feminine ma before je it will be je ma tu ta il sa el sa so it will be and for feminine it will be ma ta sa for masculine it will be mo to so so like if we want to say my father it will be mo pair because pair is masculine if we want to say my mother mother is feminine so we will say ma mère unlike english like we in english we say my father my mother my sister but in french the possessive adjective will go according to the gender so it will be my sister will be ma sœur because sister is feminine for brother if you say my brother it will be mo frère why because frère is masculine then we have plural as me te se if you would like to say my sisters it will not be ma sir because sisters is plural so sisters plural will be formed like me sir if you want to say my aunts only if it was aunt it would have been feminine but since aunts you said plural it will be me tant 
then if you would like to say my uncles it will be mon oncles because uncle is plural then next we would like to use the verb vouloir is to wish how do we conjugate vouloir vouloir is an irregular verb so we would not take the endings as well as the beginning the whole verb changes while conjugating it will be je va v e u x tu va il elle va nous voulons vous voulez il elle veul why we will again start je va va is i wish or i want tu va is you wish or you want il elle va it will sound like va like je and tu but the spelling changes with je and tu it is v e u x with il l it will be v e u t then with nu it will be nu voulons v o u l o n s vou voulez v o u l e z il l vol as usual e n t is silent like other verbs so it will be il l vol the spelling is v e u l e n t if you want to say could you you would say pourriez vous pourriez vous is could you repeat if you would like to say you'll say pourriez vous répéter s'il vous plaît will you repeat please few questions in the end i would like to tell you like you want to say you dance you'll say vous dansez then the next is do you, you want to see a film it will be do you want to see a film il est arrivé is has he arrived if we want to say il est arrivé simply we can say he has arrived like il est arrivé the tone changes while making a question so if you say il est arrivé that means has he arrived then we have some negatives like i said vous dansez that is do you dance then in negative we will say tu ne danses pas that means don't you dance then for arrived we said he has arrived il est arrivé question form we will say est il arrivé or est il est arrivé then if he has not arrived we will say il n'est pas encore arrivé that means has he not arrived yet what do we say i'll repeat il n'est pas encore arrivé has he not yet arrived the next question is n'est-ce pas is it not like you if i would if i would like to say you like french n'est-ce pas tu aimes le français n'est-ce pas it will be do you like french is it not hope to see you again merci you like french don't you will be tu aimes le français n'est-ce pas merci thank you